Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Probably farming. <laughs> Actually, most definitely farming. You might be surprised. Why the fuck am I streaming on Mondays? Well, it's a national holiday and definitely. you know colleges don't work. Might be so I'm spending an extra day home, which means uh, an extra day of streaming. And we'll we'll, we'll be playing Darkest Dungeon uh, today, definitely. So, no headphones. I kind of feel like going, you know, a little bit uh, casually here and just don't play with headphones. Plus, we're gonna be farming a shit ton, and maybe music would have been a good idea for me. But oh well, no music also. Now we have to kill uh, the twin princess. We got everything else. We right? We did have it, right? Uh, uh yep. There's that. Where's the S? Was I a moron and never picked up the Essence Flask Shard? Dude! Well, at least I picked up a uh, Divine Pillar. Oh, you know what they just got ahead. You seem to be an idiot to anything else. We do not need th th this. <clears throat> we don't need that. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit... Uh... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! 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 There we go. Uh, I'm sorry if it sounds a little bit different. Uh, I just uh, had lunch, so yeah. Either way, let's go quickly get. Uh, wait a minute. Where did I take damage? Where did I take damage? Can't remember. Oh well. Uh, yeah. oh, fuck's sake, really, game? Really? You're gonna force me to use the stairs? Fine. Use your blood stairs. Man, that's a big stamina bar. Mm mm. I mean, um. Oh, I did pick it. Wait, uh, wait a second. Wait a second. Did I pick it up? Yes, I have. Which means I did upgrade the Estus. Then why am I at 14? Because we missed one. Now our, we missed a Nestus Flask shard. I just don't know where we missed it. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that we missed a Nestus Flask shard. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember. We missed a shard. Oh well. Oh well. Let's go kill. Uh, I want to say film watcher and defender, but it's different princess. Also, kind of have a change of plans. I might go use uh, this weapon. I might, although I don't have enough uh, dexterity, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what weapon we're gonna use. I need to get the gems, you know, heavy gem and uh, sharp gem. I know where we can find um, two more. I know where we can find a heavy gem. But uh, more than you know, more than like, I guess three gems. I don't know where they are. I don't know the locations of the gems. So I'm sorry for that. But that's besides the point because after we kill uh, the twin princes, we will be farming, uh, farming through the Concord, which I guess is good for us. You know, more uh, more souls, items, uh, possible large titanite shards. They do drop the titanite, large titanite shards, so there's that. I don't know how much we're gonna need them, but they do drop it. Plus, we need to buy a shit ton of sorceries, so there is that also. How many sorceries? Well, all of them. We're gonna buy all the miracles, we're gonna buy all the dark sorceries, we're gonna buy all the pyramids, we're gonna buy all the sorceries in general. So, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I'm not gonna give my dude the crystal. I think he goes, uh, he disappears only after you unlock, after only after you buy all the, the sorceries. I can't remember. Ooh, excuse me. How did I dodge that? Huh? I don't know how I dodged it, but I did. Nice damage. Actually, not that. The weapon doesn't actually do a lot of damage. Only 280. That seems weak. I'm gonna be honest. 
I mean, yes, it's A scaling, yes, it has strength scaling in it too, so that's the problem. But I don't know, it just feels weak. Uh, hi, boys. Yep. Close at home. Excuse me? Uh, okay. That was a clip. A clip. Ah. Uh, Stamina region is down shit. I'm fucking up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does our luck? Does our uh, <clears throat> Lloyd's sword ring only give us? Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, that's been, that's been a long time since I died to to Lorian. Okay, bad positioning on my part. That can be rectified, no problem. Ah, uh, newbish mistake, not pulling down the the elevator. That's a newbish mistake. It's like I haven't played Dark Souls for like five years. At this point, more like four. That's size the point. What's more important is uh, we kill Lorian and Lothric, of course. But Lorian is more important because Lothric is defenseless once Lorian is dead, and we have not died to Lorian in a long time. Which is weird. I must say, it's very, very... Maybe died to lower him. I did not expect it. I don't think anyone expected me to die there. Uh, I think what um, made a problem was... I um, I got hit by the you know huge wave. If I didn't get hit, that would have been easy. Or I wouldn't have died. But no, I got hit by the wave and that means death for me. Well, that's fine. Damn it! Am I? Did I get used to to Cold Vein's uh, tempo of dodging? Because Cold Vein has a different tempo. Well, actually, no. Cold Vein has a better tempo because of quick mobility. Such a powerful uh, mechanic that maybe fucked me over about my timings for Dark Souls, or maybe because I'm too heavy. I'm pretty sure I'm not uh, below 40%. So, yeah, my dodges suck. I need to get back into my Dark Souls form. My Dark Souls form. What's this? A Dragon Ball anime? Or what the fuck are you talking here? Uh, yeah. But our damage is bad though. Like, this is. I'm expecting like 400 damage or something. No, it's only 355. 288 if we count the Lorian's um, Lloyd's uh, sword. What the fuck? Well, let's hit you once. I mean, it's not damage. It's not bad damage. You know? It is an increase of 20%. Even more. But yeah. It's quite clear that if we had the Grass Crash Shield, this would be a much better situation, but it's fine. Ah, I can do without the Grass Crash Shield. I think we're done here. Oh, no we're not. No we're not. No we're not. Now we're done. <laughs> now we're done. Okay, yeah, mark my words. Uh, Curse to the undead, sure. We're not undead, but yeah, whatever. Why does my PC sound so loud? I don't know. Alright. Ooh, 103,000 souls. That's a lot of souls. That's a lot of souls. Now starts the farming. Uh, we're not gonna buy any weapons, we're not gonna buy anything like that. But first we're gonna do is uh, transmute the, the sword, the soul. 
or the souls, I should say, because we have a couple of them we need to do. Uh, weapon, please. Lothric's Holy Sword, yes. Uh, Gale's Great Sword, yes. And that's it. All right. Okay, that's been dealt with. Now, I'm gonna start using the dual katanas just for. Oh no, I can't do it because we're gonna be farming and. I should, I, you know, I need to keep the. Okay, let's first set up our, our farming, uh, farming gear. Where's the crystal? There you go. This increases. I am discovery. Yes. How for how much? I think we were at 107. Uh, excuse me. Oh, 107. One. Ooh, that's a big, big buff. 157. 272 more big buffs and now uh, symbol of avarice 300 oh perfect okay so that's how we're gonna do it um let me see is the chaos blade uh thinkies please tell me this am i gonna die am i gonna die from where's the chaos blade excuse me oh there it is thinky yeah Alright, so, first order of business, let's remove Symbol of Avarice, we don't need it right now. Uh, who who are we going to buy out first? I think it's smart to say that uh, we should buy out our friend, um, the, the Maiden. Why? She has the least amount of sorceries and they're actually very cheap. Funnily enough, the most expensive one is the Tears of the Nile, which means basically you do not die. Now, I'm pretty sure she would now go to the a Broken Tower, or whatever we're gonna call it, and that's where, we're gonna be, that's where she's going to be from now on. Next, we're gonna max out is our boy the Pyromancer, because again, very cheap. Most expensive ones is the Chaos Storm and the Fireball. So, not expensive at all. And that's where we're gonna stop because we don't have enough souls to go buy out uh, Carla or my boy, the Sorcerer. So, we're gonna wait. <sighs> Let's start the farm. Am I got a music for the farm montage? I certainly do not. Alright, so where are we gonna farm? Anorondo. The three uh, Silver Knights have a big, I think they have the biggest drop rate. Or, that's, or they drop the profound uh, proof of concord. Sorry, profound? What? I don't know where I pulled the profound from. But let me see. Let me just check. Let's just be sure. Concord farming. Dark Souls 3. Let's see. Dark Souls 3 proof of concord. Farm. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. And Orlando. Alright, it is and Orlando. Oh, I'm being... Uh, someone directly messaged me. And it's nothing. Alright. So, you're here. Symbol of Avarice, please. We should be able to deal with these knights uh, relatively easily. I do see relatively. And I do say... Well, that's what I say. Uh, hopefully... We're gonna have an easy time with these knights. We're gonna have uh, less souls because Symbol of Avarice does eat our soul gain. Okay, I can't believe this, but we can actually tank. We can tank the Silver Knights. That's a surprise. We don't need this ring. So, in that case, let's just put on uh, the Ring of Favor. You know, more HP, more security from dying to dying from Symbol of Avarice or my boy the Silver Knights. Or say my boys. This one is of course the most dangerous one. He does way more damage than, the, than his uh, friends or allies, whatever you want to call. Them. And they drop nothing. <laughs> Now you're saying, why not pick up the item? I don't care about the item. This is going to be a perfect spot for farming souls, I must say. We're almost at 400 discovery and we're not getting proof of concord, so that's... Um, buckle up, 
we only have one proof of concord and need 30 so that's 29 more proof of proofs of concord needed I might be saying why not use a much more powerful weapon a heavy strength weapon okay that's the second time I got the leggings and the chest piece guess what I don't need it I'm never gonna fucking use it but sure uh, all right that's the third or fourth no it's the third it's the third armor set um, chest piece, sorry. And now let's uh, deal with this motherfucker. Hopefully he will drop the conqueror. I don't want to level up luck, I talked about it. I really don't want luck to be leveled up. But it seems like we might actually need to level up luck. Oh. I do have 357, right? Oh, yeah. oh, three, oh, sorry, 372. So yeah, close to 400. If it comes down to it, I will level up rock, uh, luck. I don't want to. I really have no desire to level up luck. But... Who knows? Maybe I should have leveled up luck. Maybe I should have 50 luck. Or 70 luck. Or uh, 99 luck. Because we're going to need it. Because they're not dropping the Proof of Concord. I plan on stream, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to stream, but there's a high chance that the whole stream is going to be me farming, uh, farming Proof of Concords. That's a high chance it's going to be just me farming Proof of Concords. So buckle up. It's going to be a long day farming. The good thing is, I'm killing them without actually spending any Estus, so... Hey, that's good. Maybe that's the proof of my, uh, me getting back to form. Maybe. Probably not, it's just that the Silver Knights are easy to kill. Yeah, right. <laughs> easy to kill. Uh, okay, they're moderate, moderately hard to kill. If you have a, a smaller shield, your job is going to be 50 million times easier. But, because we are using the, the rapier, we're not going to have an easy job. We're going to have a hard job. Plus, these backstabs are not bad. That's all I'm gonna say. Backstabs are not bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give me the proof of Concord! I have no desire for your Titanite shards. Actually, I do. It's gonna be great for when I upgrade my weapons. And we're at 100,000 souls. I think uh, we get uh, 50,000. What? Hold up. I'm my bad. 15,000. Uh, every run. Oh, wow. We got the gauntlets, boys and girls. We got. We actually. Com Wait, no. We have a we're missing the helmet. I was about to say we completed the set, but no, we're missing the helmet. We're never gonna use the Silver Knight set. Ever. Mm -mm. I have no desire for this set. So, yeah. Maybe I should just be quiet. Maybe I should just be quiet. It's random. Oh! Completed set. There we go. There we go, completed set. You know what, you know what, I'm gonna play the Souls by just looking at the preview of my uh, OBS. That was probably a large Titan shard. Probably. Yeah, let's, let's just play by walk, looking at the preview. I'm gonna die, but fuck it. Let's have some fun. Ah, damn it! It's hard! I'm sorry, but it's hard! Ah, <laughs> oh, Lodge Light Match Shark. I hate you so much, Lodge Light Match Shark. Twenty minutes in, let's say ten minutes of farming. So ten minutes of farming, not a single proof of Concord. That is bad. That is very, very bad. Oh well, what we can do. <sighs> Thank you for the helmet. Fucking appreciate it. The backstab. Damn it! My perception is bad. Actually, my stamina meter is also bad. I can't see it properly. Such a small window. <laughs> Still no proof of Concord. Have they nerfed the drops? 
don't don't tell me the nerf don't tell me I actually have to go for PvP. Who wants to see me do PvP? I should probably call Doom. He's gonna say 50 times yes. Probably. Am I missing something here? Should I have my covenant equipped? Is that is that it? Should I have my covenant equipped? That should not be a thing. Let me let me see. Maybe I'm missing something here. Now I'm just curious as to why am I, um, why am I uh, having bad experience farming? Concord. Mm-hmm. Okay, so apparently the route is actually just killing the two knights, not the third one. Okay, let's just keep killing the two knights. And yes, I'm gonna keep using the preview, uh, gonna keep looking at the preview button. Why? Because why not? Also, apparently the hollowing gem adds five luck. So... That's something to talk about. Ah, I looked. Yeah, I looked. I was in danger! Ah! I look again. I'm sorry. Maybe I should just stop fooling around and just actually play. Yeah, let's just stop fooling around. I need to actually... I need to uh, do this as quick as possible. Also, apparently the drop rate is 1 in every 30 nights. Yikes! Yes, it takes uh, it's a 3.33% chance of dropping. So one in every 30 knights. For 30 of them, it needs to be. Oh, we need to kill the knights 900 times for our discovery range, which is um, which is nine, just 375, 72. So yeah, um, we're doing good. Naturally, we need to keep picking up all the drops. I'm just be like, oh, well, this there's no way this is a Concord. Now, of course, that's the average, right? That's the average. Doesn't mean it's gonna drop. Maybe it's gonna drop, uh, you know, before the 30 kills. Maybe it's gonna drop after the 30 kills. I don't think it will. Who the fuck knows? Maybe it's guaranteed after you kill 30 of them. Possible. I just think it's ridiculous how much you need to farm. I'm glad they changed that for Bloodborne. That's an unbelievably good change that they did for Bloodborne. I don't know why they kept it for Dark Souls. I really don't understand. I'm, I mean, I'm glad they they allowed the farm, but fuck's sake, make it easier. Make 15 knights. You need to kill 15 knights. Or better yet, make it just a common drop. Why make this a super rare? I mean, what? People gonna stop PvPing? No. People who wanna do PvP will PvP. People who don't wanna do PvP will not do PvP. I'd be saying, why not just do PvP? First of all, my build is shit. Second of all, I might lag because I'm streaming also. Uh, I don't, you know, that build is definitely not designed for PvP. So, what would be the point? I'll probably just get destroyed multiple times. Unless, you know, at this point there is no new players. Like, who is gonna be new in Dark Souls 3 after 3 years of release? I mean, come on, let's be serious here. There ain't gonna be no new players. So yeah, uh, this is going to be a long fucking work to get the blade. Um, the katana, you know, the bloodletting katana, I don't give a fuck. If you want to see me use the bloodletting katana, you, there, uh, there is a let's play of me doing it. Or say a stream, we have run with it, so there's that. I did use it, it's an interesting weapon, it's all about bleed. 
I like it, you can beat bosses, that's obviously a very good thing for uh, the boss that can be bled naturally. But those who cannot, it's a weapon that doesn't do it. Mm, right. I'll still go take the Chaos Blade or any other katana. Maybe the Freight Blade now? Maybe Freight Blade is actually better? Katana? I don't know. The Dual Blades, of course. The Dual Katanas are, of course, just, uh, uh, you know, they're just a spectacle. They're, they're, they have the wow factor. They have the star factor. You know, they're, they're just explosive. Which I like that. You know, there's nothing bad about having an explosive weapon. You can say the same thing about the Freight Blade, but yeah, uh, Dual Katanas beat one Katana. It's just a fact. When it comes to explosiveness, you know, uh, the wow factor, I guess we're gonna call it. The shield! Okay, we got the full set. We got everything from knights. Just cannot get the weapons. You, can, you know, you can get the silver hammer, the rarest weapon of them all, but the, the silver straight sword? No. No, 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 no. Of course not. Who do you think you are? To demand the silver straight sword. Now the run does recommend using the crystal soul spear. We're not. I mean, look at us. We don't. We're not expecting to using the crystal soul spear. Clearly, not. we have zero intelligence. Well, actually, no. We have ten intelligence. Wow. Give this man a medal. He has ten intelligence. Ah. Oh. So, at least the good thing is we're gonna get. We're gonna rack up souls. I will not be surprised if we actually get. Uh, a million souls by the end of this. You know what? You know what? Just, just do it. I'm playing offline, aren't I? Yes, I am. I'm playing offline. Wait, I'm playing off. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm playing offline. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna need to restart the game because I want to play off. I want. I want. You know, while I'm farming these guys, I also want to kind of get. I want to see if I can get some evasions and stuff like that. Oh, proof of concord! A miracle! Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, save the game. Let's uh, let's restart and let's go online. So you know, while we're farming, maybe we're gonna get invaded uh, or be summoned for help. Usually you do, you know, it's not something, it's not impossible. And yeah, we, you know, the stream might lag or my game might lag. Whatever it is, I don't care. The point is, let's see if we can speed up the process. Even though my weapon is pure dog shit. And I will, and I will be dual wielding my, um, dual wielding? Two handing my weapon. Because, uh, well, what else am I supposed to do? Let's just see if I'm going to get it summoned or not. I hope I get summoned by low level uh, players. Yes, you get summoned by low level players, you just lose, uh, you get restrictions on your character. So, yeah, I wanna see if I'm gonna get uh, summoned. Silver Knight Shield, that's useless. But hey, we got our first proof of Concord. Does that mean we killed 30 enemies? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we killed 30 knights. Oh wow. The big drop of all uselessness. Why did the camera pan like that? Weird. And yes, yes, I know, I know. I'm just restarting the the summoning every time I do it. But guess what? Can I even be summoned? I don't know. I don't know if I can summon in this place. Come on, people! Someone, anyone, anyone! I really would appreciate some. Well, that's a lot of bodies. Actually, that's a lot of bloodstains, actually. Oh, look at that! Yeah, he's uh, 
It's going the OP route. Naturally, everyone's gonna be just about. Should I go to Irfil? Do I get? Does it count if I get if I kill um, invaders of Eldritch? Does it count? Let's go check it out. Let's let's go check it out. I, I want to check it out. Uh, I just want to see. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. I said I wasn't gonna do it. What are we doing? What would be a good weapon? A good ring for us. Yes. Uh. Actually, my bad. Oh wow! It crashed. My dashboard crashed again. For some fucking reason. Uh, reload. I hope we're still alive. Uh, yes, we are. Okay. Weird as fuck, but what can you do? Uh, let's let's go here. Let's just see if we get in lead or not. I just want to see if we kill. I mean, if we kill. By the way, if we kill, there's a high chance we might not kill anyone. I might just get our asses kicked, asses handed to us because I suck at PvP. So. Yeah. You know, we will see. We will see. And yes, I will just two hand my. Well, I don't know. Let's have a little bit more of a fighting chance. Give me this and. Let's attempt. We're gonna, we're gonna try pairing. There's a higher chance I might, I'm gonna get um, invaded by uh, Eldritch Faithfuls. And I will actually be. Uh... Ah. That was actually useful. Let's see. I just wanna see. Damn it, Doom, it would actually be cool if I could have you just keep invading me so I can farm the souls. i farm the Book of Concord. I don't have any. Yeah, no patch for no matchmaking, nothing. Yeah. Uh, am I too high of a level? 105. No, I'm actually pretty low level. For PvPing. In fact, maybe I am too high of a level. Hi, anyone? Anyone? Any? I I don't know. Um, oh, okay. There's a. Oh wow, yeah. I would I would rather not fight. Suit up enemies. One. Oh, man. Oh man. Should we just? You know what, fuck it, let's just get back to farming the, the tr our way. Let's just farm the fucking things. Yeah, we're gonna waste our time, but... It's fine. Keep the... You know, keep the... Um, the badge, maybe someone will summon us somehow, you know, by some grace of great ones we will be summoned. But until then, let's keep, let's just get back to farming our boys, the Silver Knights. You don't sound happy. Should I be happy? I have to farm. No, no, you should not be happy about farming in Dark Souls. One of the worst things ever, especially when it comes to. The Covenant items. So we have two Proof of Concords. That's fine. Um, I wish we had more, but oh well. Why does the why? Because the lock on is that it? Is that it? I get I, because I lock on and the view is down, and when I 
kill the enemy, the view pans up again. I, I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe. You know, a good thing is, if I keep playing these uh, last hit, uh, these backstabs, this is gonna be a much, much quicker ordeal than first fall off. I kinda wish I had the ability to one shot them. Trust me, I wish. Oh! Okay, okay, that was a little bit too quick. That was a little bit too quick. Free proof of Concords, please and thank you. Uh, 27 to go. Let me see if I'm correct. Oh, uh, yeah. Free proof of Concords. So, 27 to go. And yes, you should always pick up first before you go fight with them. Might say, well, why not leave? Why not uh, leave it be, kill the enemies, then pick it up? Well, because that's lower. Actually, yes. It's faster to kill the enemy, pick up, and kill the next enemy, than to actually go around leaving items behind and then killing enemies and then getting back to them. Oh, I'm just stating facts here. There we go. Nice old backstab. Two hits to finish it off. Unfortunately, just a night set. Can we get two proof of concords? If we can actually get two proof of concords, that will be amazing. You know, like we get two titan shards and stuff like that. Just two proof of concords. Why not? Why not 30 of them? I'm pretty sure it's a hard cap on how many they can drop, and it's probably one, so that they will force you for PvP. I can't believe they never actually reduced the amount. No, reduced the... Uh, sorry, increased the chance of getting... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, keep complaining, keep complaining, and apparently you're gonna get a shit ton of them. That's good. That's good. Okay, four. Should I just keep, you know, should I make a text and have it on screen on how many Proof of Concords left to get? <laughs> no, that would be just too much work trying to, you know, non-stop change and stuff like that. Maybe it's just better to just uh, remember how much we need, which is 26. Excuse me? How did you miss? You're supposed to be a trained soldier. But you missed. Leggings. We're gonna sell a lot of stuff. I see. Yeah, we're gonna be selling a lot of stuff. From the Silver Knights. Which is fine. More souls. And we're at 330,000. Even with. Even with. Uh, Soul of Avarice. What? Um, symbol of Avarice. We still. Get a shit ton of souls. That's the you know that's the silver ring plus three man, and that's what it is. The, the silver boy is helping us immensely, and of course the large titan shard. Both large titan shards and titan shards are not bad to have. Very good. Concord, please. No titan shard. Oh well. We're gonna have, we're gonna be able to upgrade almost all the weapons probably, except boss one. Boss weapons we're gonna need to. Uh, we're gonna need titan scales, which means I'm. If I'm correct, we're gonna be able to upgrade at least two, two, two weapons per new game. Unless we go full hard uh, farming on new game and just get all the shit we need to get before we get to new game plus. Basically meaning what we have left is kill bosses. Which we can do, you know, I, I can do that. That's not a bad idea. Just do everything in new game and everything is relatively easy to do. And then... Uh, Go and grab, you know, and then deal with uh, everything else. Is am I invaded? No, not all right. So I'm probably never gonna get invaded. We're probably just gonna be, you know, forced to farm. That's fine. Uh, if we ever reach the million souls uh, cap, cap, not cap, sorry, a million souls, um, you know, amount. 
I'm gonna leave, get the, you know, get the sorceries, upgrade weapons and all that shit we might wanna do, buy uh, upgrade material because I'm pretty sure now we can buy Twinkling Titanite uh, for infinite amount and as you might imagine, a million souls can help you uh, upgrade a lot of weapons. Now of course Titan scales we cannot get, which is unfortunate but that is how it is. I don't know about the shards. Shards? Stones, sorry. I don't know how we're gonna do with stones. We need blade stone. Blade stones? Sharp stones, sorry. And heavy stones. Blood shard, that's. And balance stones! Right! Maybe we wanna go with a, with a quality build. We're not gonna want to go with a quality build. But if we ever do, um. We could. We just only can get one balance stone in the game, actually. Uh, unless the Lothric Knights drop the balance stone. If they do, well, we got ourselves a victory, but I don't know if they drop it or not. Maybe they do. Oh, thank you. Wow. I can't wait to see Titanite Shards being st uh, stockpiled, because they're just, you know, we crossed the 99 mark. We're gonna be crossing the 99 mark. Alright, 40 minutes of farming. Well, actually, more precise, 30 minutes of farming. And. Um, ah, it's not even precise enough. Okay, 20 minutes of farming. And we got 4 proof of comfort. I guess not bad. We are killing them relatively quickly. Yeah, relatively quickly. Wish it could be quicker, but we have no means to kill him quicker. Yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe after we reach the million souls, I should go level up intelligence. Like a shit ton of intelligence and get the crystal soul spear. May hey, maybe. I might do it actually. It might be the first thing we do. Maybe million souls pump a shit ton of intelligence and get the crystal soul spear. It might be worth it. Did we pick up the magic? Unleash magic or whatever it's called. Uh, the sorcery that uh, increases your HP but massively increases uh, sorcery damage. Let me see. Uh... Oh no, sorry, it's soul stream. That's right, we pick up the soul stream, which is actually a, kind of a useless sorcery. Nothing beats the Crystal Soul Spear. Nothing beats it. It's just been proven every time it's been proven. Nothing beats it. Why do they even try? I don't know. May maybe luck. You know what? Maybe we should level up 40 luck. Maybe. I don't want to. <laughs> And we're never gonna be hollow, so the hollowing gem ring, uh, hol hollowing gem is useless. Or hollow gem, sorry, is useless. We're not gonna get it, but maybe we should get to 40 luck. After we reach a million souls, because we're actually there. We're at 400,000 souls. Son of a bitch, I can't believe it. We might actually reach a million souls before we get 30 proof of comfort. We should not complain. I mean, I just can't believe it. I'm not complaining, I just can't fucking believe it. Oh, and imagine selling all the Silver Knight gear. Oh boy. Oh, what? What? Let's hope we win. <laughs> Shit, we're probably not gonna win. Oh.
Ah. Oh. Not today, bitch. Okay, heal. So much damage. Here's the thing, here's the craziest thing. My uh, host is the only one who can actually damage this motherfucker. Who can trade, I should say. Where's the Blade of Moon Z? Where's that dude? What the f- Why is he attacking me? <laughs> what the fuck? Is he that lagging? Yes! Yes! Proof of Concord! Yes! 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 Okay, okay. Woo! <sighs> it works! <laughs> okay, so we have five proof, proof of Concord. Awesome! Thank you so much, my dude. Whoever you were. Yes, my weapon is shit. I'm sorry for not being too helpful. Sorry. Oh, back to farming. Okay, five proof of concords. So this mixture, you know, farming and uh, being summoned, it can work. All right, that's good. So that's probably a new player, or maybe not. Maybe he just really wanted to summon. Uh, either ways, thank you so much for using the blue, the way of blue covenant. It helps your boy get the moonlight, dark moonlight blade. Uh, the. It is called Dark Moon Mind Blade. Or is it Dark Moon Blade? Whatever it's called, point is, it helps us get it. So, um, alright, let's hope for more summons. Probably not, it's probably gonna be rare. Because again, nobody uses the Way of, uh, way of Blue anymore. Um, it is just for helping hands, and no one any, no, you know, no one is no, uh, new to Dark Souls anymore. Anyone who plays Dark Souls at this point just plays it because they want to. It's no longer just a new speed, you know, a new, new players, nobody knows what's happening. And look at that, look, oh! Look at that guy who was invading. Gale's Greatsword, one of the most OP weapons in PvP. Come on. The man clearly was for Hunt. Luckily, uh, we ganged him. Which is the whole point of the way of Blue and the Blue uh, Sentinel. Blue, um, Blue... Damn it, I forgot the name! Uh, Dark Moon. Blades. That's the whole point of us. To gank. Which I have no problems with because I'm not here to... You know, I'm not here to fight, I'm here to farm. Makes no fucking sense because I am fighting. But you know what, it's fine. Also, I think that was the biggest drop. Because we got uh, the chest, the leggings, a large titan shard and proof of concord. I think that was our biggest drop yet. Hopefully I get summoned more. Oh. Yeah, please, cross-platform, naturally. I don't know why I kept it off. We want to be summoned by everyone. Whether it was, uh, you know, on PC, Xbox, PS4, whatever. I think it's pro more like cross-play, you know, different servers. Maybe. I don't care. Let me see. That is what it is. Oh, cross-region, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we want cross-region on. Yeah, please. I want to play with everyone. Can play with because we need the soul we need the concord so maybe that was the problem you know maybe i'm the only one in europe who's uh, or maybe i was the only guy in europe who is doing the is using way of uh way of blue also yeah that was a different frame rates when i was summoning that's unfortunate 
There's nothing we can do there. So six proof of Concord, twenty-four. Wouldn't it be awesome if it's only ten? Actually, I never checked how much we need for Dark Moonblade. Maybe it is ten. I don't even know what the rest of the rewards are. Really enough, I don't actually know what the rewards are. I know the Dark Moonblade is our uh, goal, but I don't know what, what you know, what's left. The rewards. Okay, that's like that's a big drop. Please summon me. Please, please, please. I need. I need to be summoned. I need the proof of Congress, damn it. I need it. The spawn, you know, the SpongeBob scene where he keeps talking about water, like, oh, I need it, and starts screaming around. Well, that's us. Well, it's more like uh, a little bit of a controlled agony. You know, it's not like we're gonna be running around screaming at how we need the proof of Concord or. Uh, actually, not proof of Concord, sorry, invasions. But, um. Major Zelda! 97. Hi! How's it going? Uh, not good. I'm trying to farm proof of Concord and we only have six. Other than that, it's going good. How about you? We're also trying to get invaded. Or uh, trying to get invasions so that we can uh, help help people, but uh, I don't know how effective we're gonna be. So yeah, because our weapon, our build is not designed for PvP. This is a pure uh, playful build. I mean, in my case, any build is a pure playful build. There's nothing, you know, no weapon I haven't used that I didn't make deadly. But oh well. <sighs> I should go and see what actual what um, requirements are. If you're in, oh okay, hold on. All good, thanks. Just started the Ring City DLC. It's a good one. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Have you played the uh, Ariandel DLC? I forgot the name. The Painted World of Ariandel. It has the best boss in this game, in my opinion. Go. I set ten charms. Hmm. I should keep. I should drink more of my juice. And by juice, I mean it's it's it's, uh, it's coke and whiskey. <laughs> you know, just to help you relax during the stream. Oh, there it is. There it is. 99 titanite shards. Boys, we reached it. We reached it. The, the sky is the limit now. We're probably gonna reach 99 large titanite shards also before we get to uh, 30 concords. I really should see. Because if it's only 10, then thank you, game. Thank you. Uh, I would love it to be just 10. But. Something does me it's not just 10. Maybe we're gonna get Yoshka's uh Yoshka's um shine. Oh proof of Concord. Proof of Concord. Nice. Nice. We're getting somewhere. Nice. I think we can use proof of concord. Like an item. Or maybe that's from Dark Souls. That's Dark Souls 2. I maybe I'm mixing it up. Okay, after I get ten proof of concords, I'm gonna check it out and see if I can use it for something. We have seven, so three more. Alright. You know, just an hour of farming, but you know, who gives a fuck? It's getting there. And if you're wondering how long the stream is going to be... I might stream till 6. And right now it's, you know, 3 more hours. There you go. Maybe 3 more hours of streaming. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not think about it. How long it's going to be. And I do plan on playing Darkest Dungeon 2 after this, so... It's not gonna be like uh, on Friday... Sorry, Friday. Saturday. Where I stopped... Uh, stopped uh, after Dark Souls. You done your seek? How do you uh, how do you like it? I'm guessing you're new to Dark Souls because you're just doing the the Ring C DLC, so I'm guessing. Although, you know, just saying just starting could mean multiple things doesn't mean the player is new to it. Thank you for that. Oh. 546,000 souls.
Yes, yes, I know. Why not just go and uh, do a frost, do a, 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 a visceral attack? I didn't want to. I did not want to. I just wanted to flail around like crazy, killing them. At least we're letting the backstab consistent. That's good. This sound is exhausting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So far so good, the backstab keeps landing, so we're all fine. We're not getting invaded, uh, not getting uh, invited for invasion, so that's unfortunate. But hey, we're getting the, the Titan shards, so that's all that matters. The fucking Titan shards. I was gonna do, um, I was gonna do a Oprah joke, but then I decided against it because. Um, I never watched Oprah. Not the biggest fan of Oprah. I don't give a fuck about Oprah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. That's that basically. Uh, Silver Nine Leggings, so oh, well. Mm. That's a rare backstab. Keep getting Titan shards. I'm serious. I might just go, f uh, you know, invest the million souls into intelligence, and just gra uh, grab the crystal spear and go buck wild, one shotting them all. Because clearly, that that's you know that's the tactic. That's the tactic to one shotting them, which I respect, of course. You can go to Rosaria, and uh, you know, if you have the tons, you can allocate your souls. I'm not gonna do it. I don't give a fuck about Rosaria, bitch. So yeah, I don't care about them. Um, Please, proof of concord, please. Please. I want to see what's at rank 10. Rank 10, rank 1. Sorry. Rank 10. What? Where did that come from? I don't know. The man started talking about ranks, and all of a sudden he's talking about rank 10. It's no fucking sense. It does not. Thank you. Oh, okay, you, you have completed the games. All right. Uh. Well, still, how do you think about the DLC? People, people. Uh, there was there was a legit criticism that the DLC was short, which I agree with. But in my opinion, also, you know, I'm a sucker for good boss fights. And Frida is the best one, so uh, you know, no matter how short the DLC is, Frida's, Frida's fight is just worth it. And of course, her weapon is just icing on the cake. Fuck, I would give, uh, I would give uh, the DLC probably 10 out of 10 if it's just, if it was just the Frida's boss fight, like no arena, nothing, just, just Frida, and that's it. I would fucking give it a 10 out of 10 because <laughs> I love that boss fight so much. Oh, you too? Yeah, the boss fight is amazing. I love it. I love it. I like the lore too, you know. I like that too, but the, bo the boss fight is the important part of the whole DLC, and it's worth it. Like the hype up about you know Frida and all that, it pays off. The boss fight is energetic from the beginning to the end. Yes, you have a small uh, pause at the middle. But that's fine, you know, just to collect yourself. And then comes you know hyper energy monster drink level of destruction. Now, what does that mean? I don't know. What I'm trying to say is the boss fight is fucking crazy. Although people keep, you know, people do com do compare it to Lady Maria from Bloodborne, which yeah, it is. It's our Lady Maria, okay? Some people do not play Bloodborne because they can't. So yeah, it's our it's our Lady Maria. Uh, you like the Gale fight? Yeah, 
to me, Gale is too tanky. Like, too fucking tanky. I love using poison against him. He's just too tanky. Like, but he's easy once you learn the patterns. Like, uber easy. When we're talking about uh, the fighting difficulty. Uh, the damage wise, well, he hits like a truck. Well, not like a big truck, but a tr like a truck. Now, uh, if you're gonna go by damage dealing, uh, I'm pretty sure Abyssal Drake will take the cake and be the number one uh, most difficult boss in the game. But no, in my opinion, uh, most difficult bosses, that's right, there's two of them, is uh, the Princess and Gale. They, I think they shared the, the spot for number one. Number two, I will give it to Abyssal Drake just because of the HP and the damage. And number three, Freedom. Now, of course, if you go by how cool the boss fight is, just a Frida number one, uh, Dancer number two, Finn Princess three, um, Gale four, Abyssal Drake five, uh, Volnir six, really enough. I, I like the whole when he pulls out the sword, not when he does his, you know, average shit. He's po Scratch that. Number six is Pontiff, number seven is Volnir. I like the whole when he pulls out the sword. Then it's a beautiful, you know, it's a great fight, great spectacle. Um, who's next then? When it comes to coolness. Um, ah, Soul of Cinder, you can have it. It's a cool arena and the whole transformation of weapons is cool. That's eight, a uh, nine, um, nine. Who gets nine? Yorm? Yeah, sure. Yorm. Also a spectacle. I like it. And number 10 would go to... Um, Demon Prince. Why? It's a, it's a genius gang boss fight. It's a genius gang boss fight with a genius, you know, third stage mechanic. Where you can choose the difficulty of your boss. I like that. Naturally, no one would choose the second RNG, if they, you know, the second uh, difficulty. Everyone would choose the, the basic one. If you don't know what I mean, I'm spoiling the shit out. Wait, did you did you beat all the DLCs, Major? <laughs> did you already beat the uh, Ring City? So I want to be spoiling it. Finish the DLC. Finish the DLC. If it's your first time playing the DLC, finish it. It's worth it. It's I I spoiled a lot of things for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh man. I hope I didn't though. I hope you already beat the DLCs. So I didn't spoil. But you did say you did like the Gale fight, so I probably did fight it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so yeah, uh, Dion Prince. When you kill the. The. If you kill the, the upper boss, eight, you know. Uh, what is it? Demon of. Uh, I forgot the names, the, prefix, the prefixes they have. Um, the, when you fight both of them, the upper HP bar boss, you kill that... Um, you kill that first, if I remember correctly. And then you kill the, the lower one. Or is it the other way? No, 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 no. You kill the lower bar first, and then you kill the, the upper bar. That way you can have the easy boss. Way easier. Like, it's so fucking easy, it's unbelievable. But then the boss is just tanky and it's like, eh, and does a shit ton of damage too, because of course it does. You know, it's a DLC boss fight. But yeah, if we're gonna go just by pure damage and tankiness, Abyssal Drake is by far the most difficult boss fight you can have. Um, but it's kind of also a bait for those kind of rankings. It, it feels like Abyssal Drake is just a, a bait. Like, oh look, so much tankiness, so much HP, perfect bait, you know, his attacks like one-shot you. Usually, if not, then they leave you like at 5% HP and then go oh, fuck yourself. So yeah, I feel like it's just a bait for those kind of mer uh, merits. Because if you actually, when you figure out how you fight, how to fight him, uh, or fight it, it is a, a Drake after all, um, it's not a difficult boss. In fact, it's one of the easiest. If we just talk about the difficulty of dodging and all that, it's just the easiest. Of course, if you make a mistake, you, you die pretty quickly. But it's easy. It's not like this. 
Especially when you just, you know, you know the the, the weakness of the head and yeah, just a very easy boss. Seven hundred thousand. We are actually reaching a million souls, and we have not gotten proof of, proof of concord in like 20, 15 minutes. No proof of concord. So fifteen minutes straight farming, and no proof of concord. You makes me wanna wish I was using sorceries. I'm not joking. Give me sorceries. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Seven hundred and thirty thousand. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. If I actually decide to sell all the the stuff that these guys drop, I probably would reach over a million. Right now, yes, I'm exaggerating. I probably would not. Their stuff is cheap, but still, the the thought counts. <laughs> the thought is, you know, it's the thought that counts. I see we're gonna spend a couple of streams just farming these guys. Wait a minute, is it possible to actually... No, it's not. Every armor piece is separate. They're not actually stacked. Why are they not stacked? You know, why, why not just stack them up? I don't know. Maybe ease of access, you know, if they're not stacked, you can access the one who's upgraded and one who isn't. But if... You can just separate the one who's upgraded, you can just separate from the stack. You don't have to... You know, you don't have to keep it all separate. But it's fine. Oh, proof of concord. All right, eight, two more. Come on, baby, give me proof of concord. Give me proof of concord, please. For the love that's all good and evil. Oh, fuck you. So it took us eighteen minutes of farming to get one proof of concord. Does that mean we killed thirty knights in eighteen minutes? Wow. I mean, if we have, I'm not complaining. I'm quite a fuck that I'm playing. Let's be real. Uh, but it's ridiculous. Attack, please. No, it's fucking ridiculous. Maybe we should should have used some music. The problem is every music gets copyrighted, so unless I pay, you know, pay a royalty fees, no music for us, which is fine. I'm fine with that. The artists do deserve their money. Hundred percent agree. Usually it's not even the artists that are, it's usually the companies and, you know, the uh, publishers, the ones who demand all that shit. Because the publishers want the money. The publisher wants their investment. Right? They don't want, they don't give a fuck about the singer. I mean, they do, of course. The singer is, of course, the cash cow at the end. But they do care about mostly about the money. Not allowing anyone to have any bad feelings. Which I respect that, you know. Everyone has equal... Everyone is treated equally, which is not true, of course, but at least by consumers they are treated equally, which is usually a bad thing because companies usually don't give a fuck about consumers. Rare ones do. Rare ones do. I've been, um, uh, I gotta talk about this because it's fucking unbelievable. Uh, Bethesda, you know, Fallout 76, huge shit game. Like, 
fuck me shit game. Um, banned a player who was testing bugs for them. They of course didn't ask him to do it, but you know, he helps he helped the community out. He created an interactive map for the game. He's also testing bugs and all that. And after reporting the bug, uh, Bethesda banned him because he discovered the bug, he, you know, replicated the bug to show how it's done. So yeah, he got slapped in the face for doing something good. Uh, you know, you just, you just have to wonder, what the fuck is happening at Bethesda right now? I'm worried about, I'm worried for uh, Elder Scrolls 6. Immensely worried. Oh, fuck me, what are they going to do with the game? Yes, Skyrim was great. I will, you know, again, best game ever made. Being uh, being tied with Bloodborne, in my opinion. But what the fuck is Bethesda doing? I mean, we have to all agree. The reason why Bethesda is able to milk Skyrim like crazy is because of the mods. The mods kept Skyrim so fucking alive. It's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous how it kept it alive. Like. It's insanity how it's how it's kept alive. Wait, what? Wait, where is he? Oh, is he up? I think I'm really under level for the DLC. Uh you're actually three levels below me. <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay. Okay, is this some kind of uh... Wait a minute, are they trying to trick me? You know, because there is some... There is some... Uh... There are... Uh... Tr uh, you know, trolls that will... Um... That will... Uh, basically... One guy would be the host, the other one invades, and then they wait for a blue moon to be summoned, and then they will kill it. And that's how they would farm, you know, troll people. <sighs> it all depends on the weapon, uh, Major. If you have a very good weapon, it doesn't matter what level you are. Like, you can, you can kill... You can kill uh, Gale being like level 80, as long as you have the twin cell swords and 40 decks. Fuck, even 30 decks will do the job. He is floating. What the fuck? Why? He doesn't want me to be there? Is that it? Oh, there he is. Oh, look at this fucking out. Someone is ready for PvPing. Well, look at me. Look at me. Yeah, they're they're trolls. I'm pretty sure they're trolls. But look at look at it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This guy is not even helping. These guys are trolls. Oh! Oh! Fuck me! Half of my HP gone. Yeah, these guys are just fucking set up. They're set up for fighting. Wait, where, where did the host disappear? Oh, getting gang banged. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh! 
son of a bitch! Oh yeah, of course the move, come on. Oh. Major, I appreciate it. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh. That was a fuck up. We got a proof of Concord though. Please tell me I get the souls. Please. Please. I don't want to go all the way. Please. Alright. We get the souls. Um, that was unfortunate. That was two proof of Concords. Ah, but he is actually farming the invaders. He is actually the one who's farming them. Uh, we need a better weapon for PvP, like a short sword, uh, a good long sword, basically. I don't know which one we would use, but a very good long sword would give us, uh, give us good. Or you know, more Kuma. That's ten, right? That's ten. All right, let's go see what ten gives us. Let's see what ten gives us. Okay, so it's rank 2 in Blades of the Dark Moon. We need 30. 30 for them. Okay, so yeah, that 10 is Dark Moon Ring, 30 is Dark Moon Blade. How do I get proof of Concord? Uh, you either use the... you Either you are part of the Dark Moon Covenant, or Blades of the Dark Moon, or you farm these guys. These Silver Knights. It's a very hard drop, like you, you know, here I am farming for an hour and 20 minutes only to get to 10 and need 20 more. So yeah, uh, it's, it's a big farm, but it's actually worth it. It's an unbelievably worthwhile fucking investment for the Dark Moon Blade. Because in Dark Souls 1, Dark Moon Blade was the weapon to use. It was the most powerful buff. Uh, we're gonna see if, you know, I wanna use it here too, so that's why I'm kind of doing it. I might be interested in using it. it. You do need 30 faith. So yeah, faith is a big requirement for it. You know, it also helps that we're being summoned. You know, it also helps a lot. You know, if we get summoned and every time we get a one uh, proof of Concord, it's gonna take us 20 summons. And plus this farming will also help out. So yeah, you can see how how it kind of balances it balances itself out. You know, we're trying to get as many well, what? That makes no fucking sense. I'm trying to multi farm. There we go. We're trying multiple ways to farm the same item, and it's kind of working. Really enough. I'm kind of having a success rate. Two invasions, two success. Hey, that's not bad. Yes, it takes a shit ton of time. Uh, uh, took us a long time to get invade, to get summoned, and to actually get to Concord because our build sucks. It's in no way, shape, or form designed for fighting uh, and you know fighting players. Our weapon is definitely not for fighting players. You might say, well, why not get a weapon that will fight players? Um, that's a good question. You know, we could certainly go use the, the Sunlight uh, Straight Sword. We could do it. Sunlight Straight Sword is one, it's a very good weapon. We can do it. Any short sword, any long sword is good. Sorry. That's not actually a class. Every straight sword is good. Like, every. 
every straight sword is good in this game. It's just such a powerful weapon. It's a spam weapon, but you know what? I'm not trying to finesse anyone. I'm not trying to be some kind of special here. I'm just trying to farm Concord. So I will gladly use a, a straight sword to get the uh, to get the, uh, get the Concords and get the victories. Now, there's no point. I don't even know what straight sword we would use. Aerial straight sword, maybe. It can fuck, you know, it can fuck up people. Uh, if you frostbite them, that's just extra damage. So, yeah, we could do that. But I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. Right now, I'm waiting for a million souls. After we reach a million souls, we're gonna go buy all the sorceries that we can buy, and uh, then we are gonna go and probably start upgrading some weapons, or maybe level up. Now I'm gonna, between those two, basically. Wait, no, we're gonna buy rocks. We're gonna buy a shit ton of rocks. We're gonna buy Twinkies. We need to buy a shit ton of Twinkies. That's what we need to do. So yeah, that's gonna be it. It's basically be preparing for the next playthroughs. After that, you know, if we still haven't gotten the required Concords, we will be, you know, continue farming and maybe after reaching the second million souls, uh, level up. Because we do need the levels too. We need a lot of levels actually. You might argue, why not use cheat engine? I don't know. Use cheat engine. I don't. Actually, I'm not very versed in using it. Actually, so yeah. Um, too bad these guys don't drop souls. You know, consumable souls. That would be really cool, like uh, soul of a knight or something like that. I was going to say, if you need to kill people to get a proof of concord, I'll help you. Uh, I'll let you kill me as many times as you need. Are you on PC, Major? Are you on? If you are on PC, okay, let's do it. Grab the red sign soapstone and get to An Orlando. Oh, thank you so much, Major. Oh, if you're on that's gonna be awesome if you're on PC. Oh, that can help me out immensely. Okay, okay, do it. Gra uh, grab the red sign soapstone. We're gonna make a password and then we can do it. We can then fight. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it works. Even if it's a red sign soapstone. I'm pretty sure it works. We can try it out. If it doesn't work, oh well. Yeah. Tough shit. I hope it works though. Because it works uh, with the Mad Knights, actually. You do get the vertebrae even if you're not using the purple sign. I don't know. Let's try it out. Do tell me when you're in An Orlando and have the red sign soapstone so we can make a password. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that will help me out with the farm. Uh, but then I still need the souls. You know what? There's better places to farm souls than this than these two guys. There's definitely better places to farm souls. In fact, uh, the puss. You no, know, they are actually they give you like what? Fifteen thousand souls per kill. That's pretty thousand souls. Oh, 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 okay. Well, you know what? Since it's gonna take me so long, do tell me when you get to An Orlando. And don't. Do you have the red sign soapstone with you, or do you need to pick it up? That was gonna happen. That was gonna happen. Like, let's, let's not kill ourselves, that was gonna happen. No level of sidestepping would have saved me there. You need to pick it up. Uh, okay. Do you know where you, where you can pick it up? Or... Uh... Okay. You need to go to Rosaria. You need to get to Rosaria's bonfire. There is a special finger dude that holds a, chi holds a, a big staff. Uh, when you kill him, he will drop the red sign soapstone. Nothing difficult, nothing special, very easy boss. Where? Uh, wait, did I say boss? Very easy NPC, sorry. Oh, wow. Boss. 
moron. Um, let's uh, let's keep going forward. Let's reach that million, baby. Let's reach that million. Fifty thousand souls to go. Oh boy. I can't remember if I ever if I ever uh, went for for one million souls in Dark Souls to uh, Dark Souls three. Can't remember if I did. I might actually go for intelligence. I might honestly do it. Just grab 42 intelligence I think I need. The crystal soul spear and then just, you know, make this farming faster. But, you know, with you Major, if we manage to do it and I do get concords from just summoning you via the red sign soapstone and killing you, then uh, we might not need any of that. And that's gonna be a very much easy peasy. Can I go back to journey? No, 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 no. Journey one. Unless you have a different character that oh, that's uh, already kind of beat at least at Lan Orlando, and you can get the the red sign soapstone. But on your uh, existing character, if you're if you're new game plus, you cannot go back to new game. Unfortunately, you can't do that. Just the corpse, please. Twenty-five thousand souls. Twenty-five thousand souls, my boys. <sighs> Twenty thousand souls, and we're at it. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a million souls in our pocket, and then watch me get invaded and lose everything. <laughs> uh, that'll be horrible. Um, yeah, that'll be horrible. I'm not gonna farm him off stream because I want it all to be there. You know, the journey, getting the proof of Concord. Hour and 30 minutes of farming for 10 proofs of Concord. Three of them, oh, sorry, two of them, which were by PvP. So you know, there's even that. We haven't even reached 10 by PvE farming. Ridiculous from software. Ridiculous. What's wrong with you? Um, so yeah. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One million souls. Let's go buy a shit ton of stuff we're probably never gonna use. We bought out the Pyromancer and the Miracle Lady. Let's buy out uh, our girl, Carla. Uh, first of all, let's see if uh, the, la the m uh, maiden has moved. Da -da 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 -da. She has moved. Uh, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Ludex Gundir's bonfire. Just to see if he's there, the NPC is there. Who might fight us, might not fight us. I don't know. Wait, let me talk to you. You have something uh, for me? Yes. There is one thing. There is a. Alright, so you are useless to me. Uh, my boy! Hi! Unfathomable! This is a crystal sorcery! Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, we're gonna buy all the souls. All uh, the sorceries. Oh, it's 48 intelligence. Oh boy. 48 intelligence, huh? That's a lot of intelligence. 
Okay, we have 800,000 souls left. I've cracked red eye orbs, so I could invade you if you choose who to invade. It's random. It's random. It's random, Major. Uh, it's no problem. I'm gonna be here farming for a long time, so do, you know, if you get it in time, do get uh, to the... So oh... Oh, sorry, it's a refined gem. My bad, I thought it was a balanced gem. Either way, um, get me... 30. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a, that's a small amount of titan chunks. There we go. And just like that, we lost all our souls. Son of a bitch. Go. Let's upgrade this guy. Who else requires Twinkies? Oh, staffs? Titanite scale. Titan shard. Twinky? Twinky? Shard. Alright, well. We seem gonna have to go and search for some uh, gems but so far um, back to farming hmm back to farming and back to seeing if we're gonna reach another million souls we're probably gonna reach another million souls before we get to 30 look look at that shit look at that shit uh actually how much damage would I deal with this one? Ooh. Dark shit. Excuse me? Ooh. But the Chaos Blade is better. Of course it is, but I want to lose more uh, HP. Yeah, but you can kill them quicker. I mean, yes. Wait, will I kill them quicker? Uh, let's try it out. Maybe, maybe the Chaos Blade is a... Uh... Is it good enough? Uh, let's 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 try it out. So there is a chaos blade, the most powerful katana in my opinion. Might be wrong with that opinion, but oh well. Also, weirdly enough, no titanite slabs. That's weird. Yeah, no titanite slabs. How much damage? Uh, that's actually not a lot of damage. <laughs> That's, uh, that's not a lot of damage, but proof of Concord. Proof of Concord. So that's 11. We need 19. Oh. I wish this guy's also dropped more souls but I think the reason why I'm getting less souls is again it's because of uh, symbol of avarice I think symbol of avarice halves the amount of souls you get so instead of 10,000 we're getting 5,000 I think don't don't hold me on that I'm not sure about how, about how much souls symbol of avarice uh, takes I'm not sure so we have all the sorceries we have all the pyromancies all the miracles and all the dark sorceries. There's nothing else for us to get. The only thing now we can do is upgrade our pyromancy and upgrade our staffs and our chimes, naturally. Yes, we will kill uh, Yorshka after we get the Dark Moon Blade, naturally. I mean, seriously. We want the chime. Her chime. Most powerful chime in the game. For miracles. Of course, uh, dark sorceries, uh, you go with Kaifa. She's very, she's very versed in dark. <sighs> if I don't look happy, it's because I'm not. Hmm. 
no invasions. You know, we're not getting, you know, we're not getting, you know, invited. Yeah, like I said, a lot of people don't do invasions anymore. Don't do a way of blue anymore. It's a dying medium. Like radio. I might say all well, radio is alive and well. Is it? Compared to what it was before, I'm pretty sure we can all agree radio is dying. Ah, oh, at least I got a, I mean, wow, a Nestus shard. Well, more like a, more precisely a Nestus flask. Who gives a fuck about Nestus flask? An undead's favorite. Ah, oh, please, proof of concord. I would love just a streak of Proof of Concords, like every kill, every round of killing gives us two Proof of Concord, that would be amazing. That would be fucking amazing. But, it's never gonna happen. Remember, did that say 199? 190, uh, tight. Oh, are you sh wow, ladies and gentlemen, we're stockpiling large titanite shards. It happened. We're now stockpiling large titanite shards. The fucking insanity of the situation is immense. Like this is insanity. There you go. Stockpiling large titan shards. Excuse me? Why the flicker? I don't know. I should have sold all of the items, you know, I should have done that, but um, it probably wouldn't give me a lot of souls, like let's be serious, it would not. If it did, it would be a different story. Not. So it's not a different story. So we're back to the same old shit. Oh. Where am I going with this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Thank you for uh, anything. Alright, let's get back to farming. The envious job of farming, of course. Of course. Only the best of the best can farm. Uh, you don't sound convinced. Should I be? Just replace that fucking titanite shard with the proof of concord and I'll be happy. 
I'll be so happy. But no! You need the large titanite shard. Naturally. Of course. Of course you fucking need it. What else would you be getting? Proof of Concord? You fucking madman. Oh shit! Kill it. Kill it. Kill it before the wolves. Kill it! Oh, what the? Mm. It dropped nothing. That's a first. <laughs> so, finally being summoned. Let's see how we fare against... Oh, for fuck's sake, we're gonna get destroyed. Oh! Oh! The DLC? That's a katana. Wait, really? The hose doesn't want to gank? Is that a Zwei hander? That's not Zwei Hannah, that's a Straw's Greatsword. Any help? Please! Wait, no one wants to help me. Yes! Woo! Twelve! Alright. Fuck you, host. Where's the motherfucker? Fuck you, host. Piece of shit. Gank, motherfucker. Why did you fuck summon me? Just fucking gank him. <sighs> Morons. I'm sorry, but if you're summoning, if you're summoning for help, fucking gank the, the invader. Don't be standing around like some kind of... Oh, it's a duel now, because now I have someone who will fight you. No, go fuck yourself, bitch. Gank the motherfucker. I'm sorry, but if you're already summoning, just go all the way. You already have help. Might as well go full, you know, full throttle and gank. He had a better, he had a good weapon. Three of us could have fucking won easily. But no, he, you know, he wanted to, um... Uh, let the hall, you know, the 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 blue sentinel. Uh, sorry, the the blade of the moon deal with that. It's too important. Either way, we won. We have twelve now, so eighteen more to go. Eighteen more to go, and I will be jumping off to Dark Dungeon in about twenty minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna be streaming Dark Souls for two hours, so... 20 minutes, and it's gonna be 12 hours of streaming Dark Souls, and Darkest Dungeon, and yeah, I'm gonna try to give more time to Darkest Dungeon, just because I wanna actually finish the game. <laughs> I actually wanna fucking finish the game. I wanna finally be like, you know what? You know what, Darkest Dungeon? Finish. Oh, yes! Okay! 13 Proof of Concords, 17 more. Alright, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Where is that somewhere? I don't know. We still need 17 of them, so... Mm. 
Titan Shard. Not like we need it. We have enough Titan Shards to upgrade every single weapon in the game, probably. And we are stacking up large Titan Shards too, so... Life is good. That's good. good. Can't complain. Farming shit on large Titan Shards, that's not, that's not a problem. The problem is, we're not killing you guys fast enough. <sighs> so what's better? Getting the shards or getting the leggings? Or parts of the armor in general? Um, I think parts of the armor is better because... Oh, sorry, what? Parts of the armor is worse because we have nothing to do with it. You only, you know, only one set is useful, and that's it. Wow. Uh, upgrade material. Well, we can upgrade stuff. You know, it has more usefulness. You know, yes, you can sell. Uh, you can sell your gear, but for how many souls? Probably not a lot. Also, uh, our record is uh, spotless. Three victories, three invasions, or three summons. We're doing good. We're doing amazing good. Yes! I only killed one invader, if we're gonna be technical. We only killed one. Um, everything else was helped. Or not you know, killed by someone else, but I don't care. I'm not, not doing a PvP build. This is, you know, this is pure, um, like I said, this is a playful build. Not a PvP build, so I don't expect to have amazing stats or amazing uh, results. Guess invaders, but you know what? It, it doesn't matter because uh, Blade Moon, or Blade of the Dark Moon, is all about ganking. Gank the invader, you do not fight fair. So yeah, only the good one, the good invaders, um, are able to kill multiple or deal with multiple summons. We, we're okay. We do not give it. Alright, more gauntlets, more helmets, that's, you know... Why is there not, not an option to sell, uh, you know, sell the Silver Knights their armor? You're like, well, you know, I, I killed your friend over here and I got his armor set, do you wanna buy? <laughs> do you wanna buy it? It's gonna be a cheap price, don't you worry about that. It's gonna be a cheap price. So, uh, no proof of Concord yet. I don't know why right after invasions we got proof of comfort. Isn't that weird? Uh, that's a little bit too either too convenient or weird. There. Can be Can be one or the you know it can be both, can be just one or the other. Uh Silver Knight Shield, wow. Thank you. No 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 no, you don't understand, thank you. Do we really have only 13? Yeah. It's an ear, by the way. Yes, we're cutting off ears of people. Or in this case, uh, these Silver Knights, who are actually ghosts. Or uh, souls in an armor. The point is, not a living being, or even a tangible being. And it's the case of the Silver Knights. So, um, how are we cutting off their, thing, their ears? I don't know. Uh, maybe the Silver Knights themselves had uh, already the cut ears and we were just somehow, sometimes, uh, lucky to find them. Other times it was just, um, nope. Sometimes. Sometimes. We are lucky. So, let me get this straight. Two hours of farming. What did we get? Well, we got a million souls. So we did that. We got just from NPC farming. We got um, we got ten proof of concord. Did you want a straight sword? I've got a no, no, no. <laughs> Major, don't worry about it. I got um, I got. I think I got almost all the weapons in the game. So don't worry about it. I got. I got a lot of weapons. That's not the problem. The problem is that um, the straight sword is the best 
or one of the best types of weapons for PvP. And I'm, and I'm, I'm not expected to use a straight sword. I'm using a katana, of course. So yeah, that's all I'm saying. I don't need the, Don't worry about it. I don't need the straight sword. I got straight swords. I just don't know which, which one to use if I want to use them for PvP. And... Uh, the Earful one is kind of the only one that's kind of useful because of the frostbite. So yeah, that's all. Well, thank you for the offer, though. I appreciate it. Still no proof of Concord. Nine more minutes. Come on, baby. Just give me one more proof of Concord. Just one more. Just one more. I would love two. Two more. Or three more. You know what? I accept one more. Nope. Large titties. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. Don't you worry about that, it's fine. It's fine. Ooh. Please. Please. That was a backstab. Come on, game. You know damn well that was a backstab. Am I mad? No. No, of course not. Should I just space out and just do mindless farming? Cause I can do that. Just, just be mindless, be a fucking machine of just pressing the same button or doing the same thing without putting any thought into it. It's creepy, but I can do it. And last nine minutes, well, oh, more like five minutes of Dark Souls, so it's gonna be spending me getting. Titan shards on a single group of Concord. Smart boy! Smart! Hi, Promo is amazing. Oh, please! Boys. Wait a minute, plus 10 and you cannot kill me to full? Really? It was right on time when uh, the symbol of virus, uh, HP loss triggered? Really? Hard to believe for sure. Why not? Have it. Okay, so apparently it took us 23 seconds to kill two of them if I backstab both of them. So 23 seconds, that's how long approximately it takes us to kill two of them. 
or to complete a run. Well, to complete a run, it takes us uh, 33 seconds. So, uh, generously, we will be killing four, four of these Silver Knights every minute. Which means we abruptly killed, well, how much, how much is it? what is it? Let's say two hours. So two hours, that's uh, 120 minutes. 120 minutes. Um, we approximately, if you know, if we're gonna go by the 30 seconds, how long it took us to kill, to complete a, a run, we killed 480 silver knights. If we were farming it for two hours, we will be we will kill 480 silver knights. If it takes us 30 seconds to kill two of them, by the way, so that's that's that. Bad. Fuck me, that's a lot. That is a lot of dead silver knights. Ooh, all right. So four more minutes. Actually, three more minutes. Then dark is done. I could, you know, theoretically speaking, I can just rush to Darkest Dungeon and just go fight the final area. But I'm not gonna do that. I wanna... Uh, I want to uh, do all the DLCs also. Ooh, I'm sorry, Mjolnir. I'm sorry you have to see it, but it is how it is. So we're back at 360,000 souls. Yeah, that two million is gonna be very quick to catch. You know what? I mean, I'm complaining, but at least it's not like Demon Souls and the pure uh, Blade Stone. Now that motherfucker can take your time. Apparently, uh, the legend at this point is a fucking legend, but uh, the story goes that one person had to farm for like 400 hours or something like that something some ridiculous amount of time to get the pure blade stone and some people apparently never get the pure blade stone that's fucking insane that you never get the pure blade stone because apparently it's, uh, I think I watched a video about that like statistically how long it will take you to get it and the average is how many people get it per average run and apparently you know there's a chance that some people still you know have not gotten the pure blades no matter how long they farm that's just fucking insane if you think about it that you never actually get the, the item i'm glad they moved past that you know they didn't um stick with that the problem is they're kind of fucked up the whole competence of farming they should have made it easier. Like, let's be honest. They should have made it easier. Or just have bosses. You know, just have bosses that will have the specific uh, items. You you don't need, you know... Maybe at the beginning you need people to get into PvP, but now Dark Souls has so much weight behind its name that you don't even need. Or uh, it has also a vivid... Vivid? Fruitful PvP community. It doesn't need the rewards anymore in the PP system. It really doesn't. There's no point in rewards there anymore. Yes, they're nice, but you might as well just have them in the shop or some stuff like that. No need to have any kind of reward, specific reward for um, fighting enemies. So the red substone is in the cathedral of the deep near the cleansing chapel. I'm trying to go through as fast as I can. It's fine. Oh wow, we got one. It's fine, uh, Major. I'm gonna stop uh, streaming Dark Souls and I'm gonna go play a Darkest Dungeon, so don't worry about it. Just go, you know. No need to rush, basically. Um, let's go play a Darkest Dungeon. So we got one more proof of Concord before we, of course, stop. So that's cool. We now have 14. Or is it 15? No, it's 14. Why did I. Fuck it. I don't care. Press any button. Well, I pressed A. I'm sorry, uh, but it seems that a couple of streams are gonna be me 